Hi friends, welcome to Sri Sai IT Hub. In this video of Core Java Programming, we are going to discuss the following topic file writer class in Java character IO streams. So first of all, let us have a small revise. What are IO streams in Java? IO. So IO stands for input output. Then what is stream? So stream means flow of data from source to destination in a Java program. So basically in Java program, we have two types of streams. First one input stream and second one output stream. So coming to input streams, input streams are nothing but reading streams. So they will read the data from source to the Java program and generally the source is keyboard. From keyboard we are going to read or accept the data into Java program. Second one output streams. So output streams are nothing but writing streams. They will write the data from Java program onto the destination and generally the destination is monitor or display or output screen. And to work with IO streams, we have java.io package. Now in this java.io package, we have different input stream classes and different output stream classes using which we can perform reading operations and writing operations in a Java program. So now coming to the concept of file writer class in Java character IO streams. So what is this character IO streams? So basically input streams or output streams in Java are classified into two types. First one byte streams. So byte streams they will perform reading or writing operation one byte at a time. Reading or writing operations one byte at a time. So example input stream classes and its subclasses and output stream classes and its subclasses. So input stream, output stream, abstract classes and its subclasses. So all these comes under byte streams. So next second one is character streams. So what are character streams? So character streams perform reading or writing operation in a Java programs two byte at a time. So two byte at a time like a character data. So character data. So here what is the advantage? It increases the performance of reading and writing operations in a Java program and internally every character stream uses byte streams only to perform reading and writing operations. So now coming to file writer class. So file writer class is a character IO stream class which is available in java.io package. So what is the use of this class? So this class opens a file and writes data to a file as two bytes character data. So character streams. So in Java char is two bytes. So it will write two bytes of character data onto the file. So coming to the hierarchy. So file writer class. So file writer class is inherited from output stream writer and output stream writer is inherited from writer class. So writer class is same as the top output stream which is a byte stream class and file writer class is same as the top file output stream which is a byte stream class which will perform reading and writing operations one byte at a time. So coming to the constructors and methods it goes like this. So if you see the description of the class open the command prompt and issue the command 
java p hyphen p java dot io dot file writer and this class is inherited from output stream writer and output stream writer is inherited from writer class right so using this constructor file writer string so string is the file name we can open a file for writing purpose another constructor so file writer string comma boolean so here boolean indicates append mode writing the data from end of a file right so these are the two important constructors so creates new file for writing from beginning so if the file already exists it will create it will overwrite the existing file and second one opens <coughs> existing file for writing from the end so from the end of the file it will write the data onto the file so boolean is true so true means append mode here so that goes like this writing from end of the file boolean is true so true means append mode it works like a append mode right so these are some important methods which are inherited from the base class write methods so if you see go to the top level base class java p hyphen p java dot io dot writer class so writer class is same as that of output stream class so here write integer data as character data onto the output stream write character array data write character array data from given index to given index onto the output stream write string data onto the output stream write string data initial index ending index beginning index and ending index onto the output stream flush so whatever the data which is available in the temporary buffer it will be flushed from the memory and then close closing the output stream and this all these methods throws io exception and even the constructor of file writer class throws io exception right so now so these are some important methods write int write character array write character array from beginning index to ending index write string data write string data from beginning index to ending index flush and close and coming to the node points so constructors and methods throws io exception so io exception is a checked exception and hence try catch is compulsory otherwise we'll get a compilation error so let us try to demonstrate this with a small program so file writer class example one so take a new page first we'll write the comments program to write data on a file using file writer class so first import at the beginning of the program java.io package and then take directly main class with main method so io package file writer class example one save this program in our working directory program execution starts with main and the file writer coding we are putting in try block and then catch so we are catching any type of exception using top level exception base class with e print exception type and message right so first let us create an object of file writer fw is equals to new file writer and then aaa dot txt so here we are trying to create a new file 
initially this file does not exist it will create a new file so what data we are writing onto the file it goes like this so first we are writing fw.write 101 so integer data is written as character data so integer is converted to two bytes character data so 101 means we'll get the corresponding unicode or ascii code similarly 65 for 65 you'll get capital a and then java string data and after that welcome one comma three so one comma three means zero index first index second index third index it will write elc onto the output stream and we don't have methods to write boolean data or something like floating data right so let us put a comment for this initially boolean data or something like 5.6 f so we'll see that later so save the program command prompt right so compile the program so file writer example one dot java so no error we just got a warning we can okay this is file class okay we are supposed to compile file writer example one dot java compile it no error and run it so the data is written into aaa.txt so let us open that file notepad aaa.txt right so initially we don't have any data here in this file right so let us close this right so let us add a small code in our program so file writer dot flush and file writer dot close so save this program command prompt and then recompile it and rerun it so let us open the notepad aaa.txt so initially 101 so 101 is converted into character e unicode so 97 is a b c d e so 97 98 99 100 101 is small e lowercase e and 65 uppercase a after that we have given java string and then welcome one comma three so elc right close it so now we can also do it like this 101 plus new line 65 plus new line so it will take that as a string so java okay directly we can give new line inside the string and then welcome which is the last string right so save this and then command prompt recompile and run it and notepad aaa.txt so we got all this in separate lines 101 65 java elc that's it so now what we'll do is we'll convert this into append mode so file writer so for file writer here aaa.txt will give boolean as true so when we give true if the file already exists it will open the file for append mode writing the data from end of the file otherwise it will create a new file so we'll write the same data here 101 65 java welcome right so before 101 we'll also give one new line right so take a new line right so it will take a new line right so save this and it will start writing the data from end of the file command prompt recompile run open the notepad aaa.txt so before 101 we have the new line so new line so from here we got the new line 101 65 java elc so after elc we don't have any new line that's why 
the cursor is blinking at the end of the file right so this is how we are supposed to work with file writer class which is a java character io stream so it will open the file and write the data onto the file as character data two bytes of data at a time thank you for watching this video do like comment and share this video and also subscribe to the youtube channel sri sai it hub have a nice day